hydrogen cars are amazing. I've had the opportunity to drive several hydrogen cars and they have all of the, you know, head snapping acceleration of electric vehicles and none of the, uh, the, the dirty, uh, um, you know, long-term problems of batteries and things like that to the same degree. This is a classic example though, of a problem that people think is a complex problem, but really is only a complex problem because of politics. And, and there are a lot of them. And I'll, I'll just, just for the sake of throwing gasoline on the fire here, you know, <laughs> a number of others include things like gun control and stuff like this. And people say, oh, this is, a, this is an impossible problem to solve. It's not an impossible problem to solve. Every other country in the world besides the United States has solved it. It's that we, that, that solving it under our present political system is very, very hard. And so people would rather tell themselves it's an impossible problem to solve than have the hard discussion about how to actually go about solving it. And I think that the issue with hydrogen is very similar. Hydrogen is objectively the best fuel for us to be using for, for, for our automobiles. And it's not like there's some technology that we're missing to enable it. What we're missing to enable it is the hydrogen infrastructure to, to produce the hydrogen and get it into the automobile. Um, the, the technology for that exists. It's just you have to build the, the pipelines, the, the production facilities, and, and put pumps at gas stations that pump out hydrogen instead of gas. More convenient to just plug it in your house, but it doesn't mean it's better, right? And it doesn't. And they say, it, but let's go it, green. Well, you're not going green. <laughs> well, putting that aside, the thing about hydrogen is that building that infrastructure is a simple problem. It's it, we in, in a simple problem in the sense that everybody knows exactly how to do it. What makes it hard, what makes it complex is the political will that would have to be required to do it. So for instance, very famously, when I was still an automobile journalist back in, I want to say this was around 2012, the CEO of one of the big auto suppliers in North America at an auto conference outlined a plan a simple plan on 30 PowerPoint slides on how to convert North America to a hydrogen economy. And using existing technologies, nothing had to be innovated, nothing had to be invented. And it, and he walked everyone through it. He showed how, what you do is the government would have to raise the price of fuel to say $7 a gallon. And we're there already. Yeah. Well, and, and say, <laughs> and say, regardless of what the actual price is, everything in between is a float you know, the price will float, but the, now you'll know that you have to buy a small car for the next few years because this is going to be the price for five years. Okay, and we're going to take all the money between the actual price of gas and that $7, and we're going to use it to build the hydrogen infrastructure. And yeah, it's going to kind of suck. You're not going to be able to have a big SUV or a big pickup truck for a few years unless you want to spend a boatload of money. But in five years when we're done, the price of fuel dropped to 25 cents a gallon. We'll all be putting water in our cars can drink the exhaust out of a Dixie cup and you can buy as big a car as you want. And then he concluded and said, and of course this will never happen because no politician in the United States will ever propose raising, putting this high uh, a tax on gasoline, even if it's for five years. And I can tell you, Alex, I spoke with the CEO of Ford, the CEO of General Motors, the CEO of Chrysler, the CEO of Toyota at the time, and all of them agreed that this plan that was outlined at this conference was 100% viable, except for the little detail at the end about the fact that you would have to have a courageous politician who was willing to make a career ending move to do it. And we don't have those types of politicians. Mm -hmm.